Thanks for joining us live for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Ready, gentlemen? This is Kevin Ready. Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. This Boston crowd ready to roar in this Eastern Conference matchup for the Celtics. Now here's Jackson. And stolen by Hayward. Irving, good. Amazing confidence from Irving. He's so skilled to get inside and get the shot. Fires the three. Griffin. And the slam by Blake Griffin. There you see why you want the ball in Jackson's hands as much as possible. He can clearly set the tape. Here's Irving. He had drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Detroit with the ball. And the Pistons got off to a hot start last season. 14-6 and six with some big road wins. Yeah, but you know, I never really include the first 20 games of the season. I just think that's when they want to know each other with them. When the scouting report comes out for the next 62, that's when things heat up. So I, I think you take that with a grain of salt. But Reggie Jackson did suffer an ankle sprain, and, and things started going south right after that. But staying healthy would be critical if they hope to make the playoffs this season. Now here's Jackson following the miss by Kyrie Irving. And this is what Griffith does best. I mean, this is, he's like a ballet basketball player. When he gets in the air, he just hangs there, looks around, spins, gets some popcorn, gives a high five to his teammates, and then throws it in your face. Here's Jackson and the wing jumper offline. Now, here is Irving. Six points for him. Lock at six. Jacks up a three. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Here with the steal. It's stolen by Smith. And then Griffin with the dunk. Well, this is what Smith does best keeping his eyes moving to set up the open man. Irving way outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Irving's got nine. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Smith with it. Now guarded by Smart. Pass to Kennard. Here's Johnson. Five on the clock. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Smith for three. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. There's 47 seconds left here in the first quarter. That gives them the lead. And that's 12 points for Kyrie Irving. He's taking over the game. Their lead's going to get even bigger if he keeps this up. Pass to Lure. Back to Pachulia. Yep, that one goes. And the big boy muscle of Pachulia, great at taking the hit and powering through. On the wing, Brown. Back to Irving. It's stolen by Smith. Here's Kennard. He's covered by Irving. Offensive rebound. And finished off by Lure. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. And, and, and anybody can get a run of the mill put back, but he makes him count. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Boston and length wingspan. Oh, yeah, you think about it. Jalen Brown measured 6'6 in height, but had over a seven foot wingspan. Rozier is smart. And they, you know, they might not be the tallest guys in the world, but man, they play big. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Well, I know he's not the number one priority for the defense, but they still got to give him some attention, guys. Here's Brown. Hangs. 
It's going to be two. I, I don't think so. I think today the point guard position, the point guard position is the toughest position in the game. I think when the big men did take the longest to develop, it was because the big man position, the center and power four, were the toughest. And that's kind of changed. Uh, Captain and B didn't take very long to develop. Big men coming to the league, they're more polished now. And, and I think the fact that the coaches are the coaching, the skill set, now are so much more alike that guys can make an easier adjustment to the game because they've been playing their game and adjusting a lot longer than maybe the players before that had to find a different role once they entered into the pros. Here's Hayward, and it's sent back by Drummond. Oh, throughout his career, Drummond has averaged more than a block per game. He would pass to Drummond. Banked in off the glass. Drummond's got six. Sometimes all you have to do is dump the ball down to Drummond and get out of the way. He'll take care of the rest, utilizing his massive frame so well. Drops in the tray. No lack of aggression on his part. When he's got the chance to score, he'll take it. With one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. Great awareness of the clock to end the quarter. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Pitt to the middle. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Bullock's got his team on the board first here in the second half for the Pistons. And Hayward gets it to go. He has a very good pull-up jumper. Hayward doesn't lose his touch when he shoots off the trip. The Pistons this summer moving slowly but surely to hire a new front office and coaching staff. Well, yeah, they've already made some changes, and uh, the team's capped out. Uh, they'll have to look to maximize the roster they have. Internal development and a few underrated signings might be the best way to move forward. There's the pick. Hayward missing again. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Right side Robinson. And stolen by Hayward. For the tie. Knocks down the three ball. Hayward's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. The defense a step slow. You can see the result. Outside Griffin. Back to Jackson. And Boston with the rebound. Well, I'm sure he thought that was good when they left his fingertips. As a matter of fact, I know he did. Hayward. And he misses the go-ahead basket. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Misses off the left iron. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. The Pistons went for it last season, bringing in Blake Griffin, trading a new building, and they hope that their moves in the future will draw fans back to the franchise. Kevin? Good overview, David. Thank you. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shit. Johnson outside. Shot clock at six. Shot to stop the run. And that's two points on the layup. Talk about a coach who gets the most out of his guys and what he has to work with. I mean, that's none other than Brad Stevens. I mean, he's done it for years. First in college, now on the greatest level. From deep three-point range, but they recover it. Here's Hayward. It's blocked. They get it back. And it's going to be a three-second call. And you can tolerate gas like that some... Here's Smith. Pass to Luer. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Luer's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Pistons. Outside Tatum. A three-pointer off the mark. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And Luer gets it to go. 
Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. He gets that one. Out there, use the clock and stay away from silly fouls. Let's see if they can execute the plan, guys. They double team Griffin. Smith for three. Here's Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. And Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. They break the jam and the follow gets their whole bench jumping. <laughs> Look at them. They are really into it. Guys, those are the kind of hustle plays that keep a team in front. And Blake Griffin said he isn't going to fall in love with a three-point shot. But, Chris, he wants to shoot it with confidence when he's left open. I mean, think about power fours in today's game. I mean, they're almost expected to have three-point range. He's, he's still a threat in the paint, though. I don't ever think he'll be a spread for, but it's certainly a welcome addition to his game. Pistons leading by six. To the middle. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Hayward from outside. Blake Griffin pulls it in. And hard work on the glass once again, guys. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Smith. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Exactly. That's what Drummond will always give you to nasty on the offensive glass. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got 20 points. Tries to save it. And it's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. Jackson from long range. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Oh, man, you really like seeing Jackson get going from the perimeter. His three-point shot has come a long way. Irving, good. He lost his first three of the second half. After nearly two in the first, they don't want to let this fella get going. To the inside. Irving with the steal. And Brown throws it down. A gigantic bucket. Brown stepping into the spotlight when it matters most. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. His speed to stick with his man and make life difficult for him. And Griffin sends it back. Master Irving. Tries again. Bullseye. Oh, just a two-point piston lead. Oh, man. You gotta appreciate the poise of Irving. He's always composed, especially on important possessions. Pick by Griffin. Jackson from long range. No good there. So the Celtics will take it the other way to tie it up. And there's the nice layup by Irving. Irving's got 13 points in the second half. Staying in attack mode, scoring in a variety of ways. The drive by Jackson. And of course, we live in Italy, England, North Dakota, Florida, Colorado. He's all over. Well, amazing. So much talent for Taylor, but also that. Now a timeout called by Detroit. <laughs> to take the lead. They get the rebound. Hayward outside. It's tipped. And stolen by Drummond. Here's Griffin. And he goes right over Jalen Brown and slams it down. Guys separate themselves by how they perform in clutch situations. Give this man his props. <laughs> Is it me or does it just feel like he gets every rebound that comes up? No, Greg, it's not just you. I mean, it's the stat line, too. Look at what he's doing. A dominant night on the glass. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Two-possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Pass to Horford. Here's the three. Back to Irving. Out to Hayward. Sinks it. And that shot brings them to within just one. Fantastic job. They were one of the most versatile players in the league. Showing he's also close. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. 
Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three-point attempt. Look at how assured Irving. And the wide open shot from Griffin. It falls! Do have time. Three-pointer, Hayward. Oh, the 